Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. It's Rebecca. I've got two things for you. A vino, a vino unboxing, and a little drugstore haul. I wanna say vino. No, I wanna say vino. Vino, like the vein, oh, whatever. Hey. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome if you're new. I hope if you're not new, but you've been watching for months and you were like, I don't think I've subscribed to her. Oh look, I'm not subscribed to her. I better subscribe. Yeah, do it. Alrighty. So I have another Vine O wine unboxing. I love these. I know that it's sort of a little bit different for my channel, but they keep sending them to me. So I'm like, okay, um, they are basically a wine subscription service, but it's not just that it's like lifestyle, beauty gifts. So it is a quarterly subscription box and you can gift it to someone so you can subscribe, but then you can decide if you want one of the months sent somewhere else. And with Mother's Day next month, it might not be a bad idea. Or if you want to leave this link and code for your significant other, be my guest. I'm just going to share with you what's in the spring vino vino box <laughs> they sent it to me this video isn't sponsored by them but it is with uh gratitude that i um share with you the spoils so. you do get to customize your wine you can fill out a profile that gives your preferences and the wines are their own vineyard that they use from both California and South Africa. And to this time they sent me, uh, okay, they sent me three bottles. Now a standard subscription comes with two bottles, but if you use my code and you do the, oh, what is it called? Uh, wine for life, then you get three bottles. Plus there's usually a little bit of a gift or some kind of perk and there are add-ons in the shop. Oh, we have this new crush wine from the Santa Inez Valley. This is the 2018 Riesling. Now, you know what? A Riesling is fabulous this time of year. Chilled, on your patio. Now we're getting to have more interactions with folks so you can have some friends over, a little bit of six feet apart. Maybe you guys are all vaccinated. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Also, I got in this month uh, or in this season's box, a 2017 California Merlot. And this is their label Speechless. So this is from the, where is it? Uh, hmm, I'm not sure if this is which valley it is in California, but you know, wherever they grow Merlot, right? 2017, was that a good year? <laughs> I think so. Speechless California Merlot de delivers aromas of dried figs, black currants, cinnamon, and flavors of anise, licorice, blackberry, and notes of cloves and caraway. This sounds like a heavy duty wine, and I don't mean that in heavy duty, like, but this sounds like, ooh, I'm gonna have a steak or something good with it, like full bodied, right? Now, some of you that may have seen some other unboxing videos of this with me, I have expressed I don't like a Chardonnay, and I am definitely like, I'm not like a Chardonnay girl, but, it's starting to grow on me. I have found some Chardonnay. Apparently when you drink crappy cheap Chardonnay that tastes like you're sucking on a cork, then uh, yeah, you're not gonna like Chardonnay. But a Chardonnay from Nightvine 2018 <laughs> is uh, <laughs> our vineyards never sleep. Um, I love this label, by the way. This is really pretty. Uh, then it is so nice it's got like such a grape and it's on a pun it's such a grape flavor no it's very grapey um and i didn't taste the wood or the oak i taste the grape and i'm kind of digging it so this one is a 2018 california chardonnay aromas of ripe pear vanilla caramel and citrus with flavors of whipped sweet cream and balanced oak so I agree, I think this one also chilled if you're not into the sweetness of a Riesling, oh, this would taste 
yummy with a charcuterie. Ooh, okay. So that's the wine that I got. Now, this is a add-on little gift a -roo. This is um, Every Day is a Party with Slant Collections. Okay, so this they sent me, and it's very cute. It says, cheers. It's a 32 ounce. No, I'm sorry. It's a 30 ounce. <laughs> Is it a 32 ounce glass? What's the deal on here? It is so cute. I love its like blush color. It's, um, it holds a full bottle of wine. That is not okay. <laughs> no judgment, but I'm like, ah! I think it would make a fun birthday or even housewarming, housewarming, you know what I mean. Maybe you're having a housewarming of, we've all been vaccinated, everybody come over, right? This is the skinny mini water bottle, <laughs> a lady flask. Mm, I don't know, okay, do we have to really call it a lady flask, but whatever. Uh, be standard normative. I love this. I don't necessarily, I mean, sure, you can, you know, you can use it like a flask and put some, some, uh, I'm no tea totaler, feel free, put whatever, put whatever you want in here. But it's 24 ounces, no, I'm sorry, it is, Oh, it holds, uh, it's 230 mLs. It's just under eight ounces. So it's perfect for um, any kind of, you know, if you wanted to take obviously a cold beverage, but just a water bottle that's not too big or that you just don't want to take up a ton of space. The Lady Flask is a stainless steel bottle with a sleek looking shape to easily fit into your purse or pocket. It has copper dual insulation, double wall technology, and provides hours of cold or hot. Um, I, th I like this, this is really cute. It says it is a lifetime warranty. It keeps beverages hot or cold for up to 12 hours. Our next little goodie is earrings. These are from the company Zaxi. I think they had um, earrings before. It was either the necklace or earrings from the last box. These are, uh, it says Zaxi by Stephanie Taylor. They are cubic zirconia and they are a jewelry company. Yeah, this is, this is the one. This is the family jewelry company that has made tiaras for the Miss America pageant for generations. Um, these are great, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. So, ooh, the value of the wine is right around the $20 mark if they were to be purchased in a store. You know, that's their retail value. Um, so with the Wine for Life, you get about $60 worth of wine in your box. And so this Lady Flask is retail, retails for $30. And the stud earrings retail for $24. Okay, next we have this Cuccio Naturel cuticle oil. Ooh, I need some cuticle oil. Oh, look at that, it has that little tilt so that you can dip. Okay, it's a dropper, cute. This is milk and honey cuticle oil. It's a unique natural complex of rich oils that provide moisture, protect, and nourish dry, brittle, cracked cuticles. This retails for $18 and you get two and a half ounces. Ooh, it smells very nice. I am rubbing it on my cuticles right now because they need it. I just took nail polish off and they're a little wrecked. Okay, <laughs> this is called Legally Addictive and it is a Foods Crackers Cookies. Okay, cookies made from crackers, toffee, chocolate, and sea salt. Oh, I know what this is. So female owned company, Female owned company, I love this, little snacks on the go, the OG. Oh, didn't you take saltine crackers and put like chocolate chips on them when you were growing up? I did, and then microwave them. I might gift that, we'll see. That retails for $4. We have this Wet Brush Pro Detangler. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is $15 retail, and oh, I love this. I, this is one of those brushes you can use dry or wet and that is awesome i love that i love these detangler brushes so whether you have girls or boys with unruly hair i know that was always a chore on bath night with uh, my kids is the t detangling the hair but also this is great for yourself because it really does 
reduce breakage, you have to be careful when you are brushing out or combing out your wet hair. So I love these. And that brings our total value for this season's Vine O at $139, but you only pay $59 with a subscription. So I'll leave everything below. And if you think this is something fun for yourself or a gift, do not hesitate. Ooh. All right, so let's talk about what I got in my mini haul. First of all, I got two sunscreen products from Marshalls, um, which, you know what, when you buy sunscreen at Marshalls, definitely check the expiration. They've been pretty good. I've never had a problem with finding an expired sunscreen from there, but I've heard of other people doing that. So just, you know, so I got this invincible setting powder It's SPF 45. It's from super goop and this retails for like 30 or $40 and it was only $9.99. It's the shade medium, but I'm actually okay with it. Paula's Choice makes one, Color Science makes one. Oh, they are the best. So I'm actually gonna use it. It's shade medium, but I'm actually okay with shade medium. And so you can put it on a setting powder over your foundation, or you can keep it in your car or purse as touch up for not only like shine, but sunscreen. So SPF 45, you need to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day. I just picked up, it was $7.99, Kula sunscreen. I love Kula brand. They make amazing sunscreens. I don't use them for the face typically because I think they've got some type of lavender. Like just for me, it's a trigger. But they do have fabulous organic sunscreens. Uh, this is SPF 50 and it's Guava Mango Ultra Lightweight Hydrates and Nourishes water resistant 80 minutes. So, you know, if you happen to just see these on your Marshall's shelf, I would, I would go for them. All right. Now I have a target haul and I blame drugstore Maven and Jen Phelps for these purchases. Um, drugstore Maven loved this eco tools bio blender. It's biodegradable, which Thank goodness, EcoTools, because we do not need another sponge on this planet. But you know what? That's going to happen. So might as well make them so that they will degrade in the garbage in a landfill without uh, lasting for dozens of years, right? I, I tried one of these before from them, and it was a different shape, and it was a little too hard. But what Drugstore Maven loves about this, yes, this is better, I can tell already. This one gets super big. <laughs> also, it says plant me, so when you're done with it, you can just put it in your garden. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just picturing planting my little blenders. What she loves is this edge right here. Now, I have sponges coming out of my ears between the Juno flocked sponge my number one favorite, and then the Miss AOA, the Shop Miss A sponges <laughs> that are $1.50. So I know, sorry for sponge overload, but if you happen to need one and you're like at Target and you're like, I need a sponge quick, um, she loved this one, so I needed to get it myself. And you know what? Yes, I do. I love that kind of flat edge. I see why this is probably gonna be a favorite of mine. Okay, I picked up a Jason Wu lipstick. I have Jason Wu lip liners that are phenomenal. And this is the Jason Wu for Target. And this was the Hot Fluff lipstick. Now the cool thing about this lipstick is you can wear it as blush. It is a multi-purpose product. I got the shade Apple Pie. Oh, I like it. So it is a matte lipstick that's also a blush. Huh. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Okay. Who'd have thought? That's amazing. That's amazing. So I can't wait to play with that. I decided to try the Physician's Formula Diamond Dust. I love that lip plumper from the Diamond line. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's just see what this type of highlighter, Physician's Formula, I always have to give it a go. Um, I have no idea if this is subtle or 
not. This is Starlit Glow Mineral Wear Diamond Dust. Oh, oh, okay. So not what I thought at all. It's very, very subtle, but does it have chunky glitter in it? Maybe. Sometimes, okay, there's glitter. Well, okay. Yeah, so really pretty. If you're okay with uh, glitter, actual like flex, then um, you might like this, but. <laughs> Um, Age Perfect L'Oreal. This is the satin blush and I picked up the shade Peony. This is so pretty and I've heard so many good things about this blush and I had to see for myself. It seems very subtle. Like I can't, yeah, it is, um, wow. Oh wow, I don't, huh, there's nothing there it's on my finger but it's <laughs> wow this this haul is is going so well huh that's weird i did pick up the age perfect serum foundation and the reason i picked this up it has an spf 50. so as you can tell SPF is really on my mind. Dr. Dre said that when you put your foundation on, you're kind of messing around with your SPF, um, which is why I wait half hour between putting on my sunscreen to putting on makeup, just so I know my sunscreen has absorbed. But you're definitely, you know, you're kind of messing with um, coverage and maybe application. So having foundation with sunscreen might eliminate that because you're already you're adding another level so i'm gonna see what i think about it i know people love this i know even sensitive skin viewers out there have told me they like this because even though it has a bit of denatured alcohol it's not enough to upset your mantle so i'm willing to try it i got shade 35 nude beige no idea if that's okay. I recommend purchasing this at like Target or something because when I see it at Walgreens, it's about $5 more. Like it's more, It's they've marked it up about $5. So <laughs> another physician's formula I'm gonna give a try is this uh, ultra fine precision liner. People love the physician's formula liners because it has kind of that paintbrush tip, which I am all for, even though I'm not really a liquid liner fan, but this shade is deep brown. So I thought for some of us pale gals out there, maybe this brown will, you know, kind of work. And then last, I picked up Milani has, I love the Keep It Full lip glosses that they've had for a couple years now, and I've raved about them. Um, I think they're one of the best out there, like I think Champagne and there's like Prosecco or Peach Shimmer or something like there's shades that are gorgeous and to me, right up there more than like Pat McGrath or something I would, um, in terms of what I will reach for. So they came out with the Keep It Full Max, which is apparently more lip plumper. <laughs> Um, and I have to say, I could feel this. It's shade Little Secret is what I got. And I, yeah, so, ooh, this shade though is, so it's a pretty shade. It's very, uh, you know, it's kind of just, and it's kind of opaque. Like they just do such a good job with their lip glosses, giving you so much pigment payoff and feeling so good on the lips. So we'll see how this goes. So that's everything. I hope that was fun. Just kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that in a video, you know, but I got to share with you. I can't not tell you what I got. <laughs> now my job is to review it and try it and let you know if it's worth it. So that will stay tuned, more to come. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead, like, and subscribe and share this or my channel with your friends if you think they'd be interested too. 
and I will see you next time. Bye.